NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, on an unannounced visit to Kiev, said on September 28 that Ukrainian forces were gradually gaining ground in their counteroffensive against Russian forces. Speaking at a joint press conference with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Stoltenberg also said Russian troops were fighting for Moscow's imperial delusions. Stoltenberg announced that NATO now had overarching framework contracts in place with arms companies worth 2.4 billion euros for key ammunition, including 1 billion euros in firm orders, uh, he said such contracts would allow NATO members to replenish their depleted stockpiles while also continuing to provide Ukraine with ammunition, a key factor in the war. And uh, we also discuss what, 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 what we see the main challenges. The Russians also will be discussed. Today, your forces are moving forward. They face fierce fighting, but they are gradually gaining ground. Every meter that Ukrainian forces regains is a meter that Russia loses. And there is a stark contrast. Ukrainians are fighting for their families, their future, their freedom. Moscow is fighting for imperial delusions. Today I can confirm that NATO now has framework contracts in place for 2.4 billion euros worth of key ammunition, including 1 billion euros of firm orders. This covers capabilities like 155 mm artillery, anti-tank guided missiles, and main battle tank ammunition. This will help allies to refill their stocks while continuing to support Ukraine. Can you expand on what the alliance is going to provide along this Ukraine Then uh, regarding the uh, debris from uh, uh, drones in uh, Romania, uh, we uh, don't have any indication that uh, this is a result of any intentional attack by Russia against Allied territory, but uh, Russia's um, uh, uh, war and uh, reckless strikes close to uh, the Romanian borders are reckless and are uh, destabilizing. Munitions. Could you expand on, on what you've just announced? Because you have Russia... We говорили сьогодні про захист від російського терору. Лише за минулу річ російські терористи використали більше ніж 40 шахедів і так майже щоночі в умовах таких інтенсивних атак проти українців, проти наших міст, наших портів, які важливі для глобальної продовольчої безпеки, потрібна і відповідна інтенсивність тиску на Росію та відповідне посилення нашого повітряного щита. Окремо обговорили ситуацію з очікуваними атаками Росії на критичну інфраструктуру України і у цьому зв'язку обговорили можливість постачання, те, що нам дійсно потрібно, постачання додаткових систем ППО державами-членами.